Hi everyone, it's Tara. I am back to share um, a couple gifts that I created for um, two friends of mine and one is for my mother. Um, I was inspired by Jane at Velocity Vet One and she created these monochromatic tags and um, she got the inspiration to do the tags from my Glimmer Spritz tutorial. So um, she sent me one of the tags um, and I showed it in one of the videos, a couple videos back I think. Um, and so I wanted to try uh, the whole monochromatic theme and I thought, you know, making some gifts, some personalized gifts would be a perfect way to, to do that. So I'm going to show you what I did. Um, so thank you Jane so much for the inspiration for um, these projects that I'm getting ready to show. Um, and I just think that's just the, the greatest thing about YouTube. She was inspired by a tutorial that I did and then uh, she created something that I in turn was inspired by. So I just thought that was really neat. Um, and that's what, you know, this whole YouTube thing is all about, right? So let me show you the first thing that I did. And as you guys know, I did a couple door hangers for uh, my daughters, but um, these ones are a little different. Um, again, I went with the monochromatic theme, and this one is aqua blue, and I'll show you the paints uh, that I used for the project, and I'll show you the, the glimmer spritz that I used as well. So uh, I'll show you the paint first. Well, this is the glimmer spritz that I made, and I made that using um, aquarium uh, ink or paint from Martha Stewart. And then I also used this color here, and it's called Jetstream. And it kind of complements the, uh, the aqua color. So that's what I used. I didn't want everything to be the same color. I wanted some things to be lighter, some things to be a little darker. Um, just it, To me, it just gives it more um, dimension and um, just interesting to look at. So anyway, this is a door hanger, and this is for my friend here on YouTube, Shantae. Um, I'm not going to post this until after I know everyone received it, so um, anyway, so here we go. I painted the whole thing first with that aqua, that aquarium color, and this is a wooden door hanger. I then sprayed um, this lace that you see behind the wooden letter, and you can kind of see it better. That way I sp uh, sprayed the lace with the Glimmer Spritz. And this is a actual vintage lace that I got from my good friend Stephanie. Um, she gave me a whole bag of vintage laces. Um, one of her friend's grandmothers died and um, she found all this really cool stuff in the attic. So thank you so much Stephanie for sending me the laces and the trims. But um, so anyway, I sprayed the lace. I sprayed a lot of things, but I'll go through and tell you what I sprayed and some things I actually painted. Um, so this is another uh, vintage lace that Stephanie gave me, and it's an eyelet lace or an eyelet trim, and it's gorgeous. And can you see how gorgeous that uh, spray takes on, or how the lace? takes the spray. It's just so super pretty. So um, I sprayed the lace and then added that around the top and then I also layered this um, flatback pearl trim and it's the tiny one. I think it's like four millimeters. So I layered that. Um, and then I sprayed this really big uh, flower here and I sprayed the leaves and then added those and then I also added these little um, little rosebuds tucked in there and then I um, added some Recollections bling and it's like has pearl and um, rhinestones on it uh, directly to the leaves and I thought that gave it a really cool touch uh, Okay, so that's what I did there and then on this side here this is um, a 
a flower that I just I sprayed and then this cameo I actually altered it to match and what I did I'll show you what it looks like originally so originally the cameo is like this color comes like that and I wanted to tone it down because I thought this bronze was too harsh and this turquoise was um, a little bit too bright so all I did was I took this lighter color jet stream and I originally was just gonna paint the the metal part so the metal part and the uh, the actual turquoise part in here so I had a small brush and I was just going around and um, I figured well this is light enough so then I just painted directly over the cameo and it gave it a really cool uh, finish. It didn't really take away from the cameo. In fact, I think it added to it. Um, but it gave it a really cool effect. Um, so I thought that was neat. So, and then I just added a little rosebud here at the top of the cameo and I layered it onto this flower. And I used E6000 to adhere the cameo to the flower because it is metal. So I didn't, I didn't think hot glue would hold it very well. So that's what I did there. And then moving on over here to this side, um, here's some flowers that I just uh, gathered together. And you can see there's a little tiny one in there. And this is a trico flower. All of these were sprayed with the spray. And then this is a lace butterfly that I created, stick pin and then I also sprayed the lace and I didn't uh, really saturate it too much I wanted it to be a little bit lighter so it can uh, pop off of this uh, eyelet trim okay so that's the top and um, so I adhered this gorgeous vintage lace um, I actually did that it was the first step that I did so I adhered that and I cut around because it's like a really big piece so I just cut around it and I just adhered it you know to this to the back and then wrapped it around kinda like at a, at a diagonal Let me back up just a touch okay and then for this letter um, it's a wooden letter and the first thing that I did was I painted it with I painted it with this light color this uh, jet stream so I painted it with that and then I put some glitter on it and it's not like a glittery glitter it almost looks like snow so I use this Martha Stewart glitter and hoping it will focus for me here okay anyway so I use this glitter um, there it is so um, I added some Mod Podge after the, the first coat of paint dried and sprinkled this all over it and then I kinda let that dry and then as I put it against as I put the letter against the uh, the door hanger I felt that it was a little bit too light so then I went back and I just sprayed it I took this and I just sprayed it on there and then I got my heat gun and just heat it and um, heat set it and because of the alcohol content in here it dried really fast um, but then it gave me this really cool effect and if anyone's I mean I just explained it to you but if anyone's interested in seeing exactly how I did it um, I can put together a quick tutorial because um, I'm actually going to be making some of these for my coworkers, so I'll be making a bunch more letters but uh, you can see it's a really cool effect um, that it gave to this wood and then from there I just got a small paintbrush and used again the lighter color um, ink and just dabbed around the edges of the wood so it would sort of pop off of the you know I didn't want everything to be the same color so I wanted it to the S to kind of pop off of the uh, the background 
Okay, so then I added um, some more Recollections Bling, gathered some really pretty flowers here again that I sprayed. And um, so you see I have a, a really light one. This one I actually painted. Um, and then this one, this was already like a dark turquoise color. And I just sprayed it with my aquarium uh, glimmer spritz. And then this is another trico flower that was white. And so I added more uh, uh, bling there. And then down here I clustered, these are some trico flowers that I showed in my last trico haul. And they were white and I again sprayed those. And I think it took the color really nicely. So I gathered those up and added another little flower here that I sprayed. And then this is one of those acrylic sprays and it was clear. And I actually painted this. I just uh, dabbed it with the Martha Stewart paint. And because it is an all-purpose paint, it takes the color beautifully. Um, so I didn't want to go overboard. I just wanted it to have a little bit of color to match. And um, stuck that behind there. And so that's what I did. And that's the whole thing. And Shantae, I really hope you like it. I had so much fun making this. Um, I know your favorite color is blue. So um, I hope you put it in a special spot in your craft room or somewhere in your home. So that is Shantae's. That was the very first one that I did. Okay. So then the next one is Jane's. And Jane's favorite color is purple. So I used the same technique um, that I did with the first one. I used, these are the colors that I used. Because again, I wanted to have some dimension. I didn't want everything to be the same color. So I used, uh, this is Purple Martin. This is one of my favorite Martha Stewart colors. It's just beautiful. And I also used, this is called Eclipse. And it's like the lighter version of the dark purple, the purple Martin. Okay, so I do have um, spritz for both of those colors. And they look like that. Okay, so let's get into what I did for Jane. Um, again, like I said, uh, the basis is pretty much the same. I used a different lace on this one. Um, because the the letter, um, I just had to make sure that everything looked right. And the lace that I used at first was a little bit too narrow um, because of the letter. A lot of the lace was showing through, and I really liked the way that looked. With the lace coming through, you can really see how gorgeous that lace is. Okay, so let's start at the top here. Again, I used that eyelet lace that I got from my good friend Stephanie. Uh, these flat back pearls, let me set it down and zoom in. Um, these flatback pearls were white and I dabbed it with the lighter color purple and, e and that's called Eclipse until I achieved the color that I was looking for and I just wanted it to be light because I wanted it to really um, separate itself from uh, the trim and stuff so that's what I did with the pearls again um, these flowers are I think they're called cherry blossoms or sweetheart flowers um, so I painted those with the lighter color, uh, purple. Sorry, my husband just came in the room and distracted me. Um, so I added two little, uh, sweetheart roses, or sweetheart flowers there. And then again, I just sprayed, uh, this big rose and the leaves with the purple Martin glimmer spritz. And I added these jewels to it. And these were, I got these from Recollections as well. And um, these are really pretty, these jewels here. Okay, so for the uh, cameo, uh, this flower I again sprayed. I did a light spritz of the Purple Martin because I didn't want to totally saturate it. Um, so I did a light spritz of that, and it came out um, a little bit lighter, which I liked. Um, I added this dark purple, this dark purple, uh, little rosebud here at the top and I use E6000 as well to adhere this rosebud to the metal because it is metal um, and I'll show you what the original purple cameo looked like it looked like this 
and the color was okay. Um, I really could have matched perfectly, but I wanted to again tone down that harsh uh, brass color. So again, I took the cameo and I painted it with the Eclipse, which is the lighter purple color. Um, and I just painted right over the cameo. And again, it gave it a really pretty effect there. Okay, so that is what that looks like. And then over here, again, I got a cluster of flowers. This is a, the darker purple. I did a little lighter purple, and then I actually just hand painted that small uh, rose there with the lighter color. And then I created this stick pin. It has a little heart on it, and it's all purple colors. It's a really cool disco ball bead and some fun beads on there. So that is what that side looks like. Um, and so for the letter, I used the same exact technique as I did in the first one. Uh, I actually painted this one first with the darker color, um, purple. And then I Mod Podge it and added the, the glitter. Let that dry a little bit and then I sprayed it with the lighter color this time. Um, I think I did maybe two coats. I think I sprayed it with the lighter color. I didn't like how that looked so then I sprayed it again with the darker color and heat set that and again it gave it a really really cool effect. So it's really really cool. And then I edged it with the lighter purple so it can uh, be defined on the on the door hanger. Uh, added some more bling as you can see and clustered some flowers here. Okay. All different shades of purple. And this is actually a it's not resin, but um, I got it from eBay. I got a whole pack of these little roses and I just um, painted over um, it was purple and I just painted over it with the lighter color purple just to give it a little shimmer okay so again I spritzed these flowers um, with the purple Martin Glimmer Spritz and bundled those together and I added um, let's see I added these purple roses here or rose and this uh, another flower and then I just added these little flowers as well Okay, and then this is the back of that one. So that is Jane's. Jane, I hope you love it. I had a lot of fun making this for you. Um, it's just a thank you for your inspiration and just being a good friend here on YouTube. Okay, so that's Jane's. And then the last one is for my mom. And one of her favorite colors is pink. So, um... That's a color scheme I went with. And let me back out first and I'll give you a, a full view of it. Hers, I added a little bit more stuff to. Um, and the colors that I used, I actually used three different pinks. Um, so I have Fruit Punch which is the darker color pink. I have, this is one of my favorite colors, pink taffeta. And then I use antique silk. So this is like a really light pale pink. So these are the three colors that I use. I hope you can see them. Okay. And then I use two of the glimmer spritz. I made two glimmer spritz. One is the pink taffeta and one is the fruit punch. So those look like this. Okay. I'm trying to get through this because this video is getting long. Okay. So again, I used that beautiful trim that Stephanie gave me. And you can really see it on the back there. Um, so let me zoom in just a bit. So um, pretty much the same as the last one. I used um, a darker sprayed this with the darker color pink 
um, the leaves I sprayed with the pink taffeta which is the middle lightest color or the middle color and then up at the top here I added some little teeny tiny roses I used some Recollections Bling for the leaves and for the pearl trim I painted that with the lighter color um, uh, no I'm sorry that's the pink taffeta I painted it with that okay so the flower and the cameo is pretty much same type of technique I added a little rosebud up top there and painted I painted the cameo with the this is the lighter one this is the antique silk that I painted the cameo with to kind of tone it down and I'll show you the original so that's the original one okay and um, let's see so that came out cute and then this side here I added a bunch of flowers because I sprayed a lot of the flowers um, and they're just various uh, flowers. Some are roses, some are, um, there's a sweetheart, I'm sorry, a cherry blossom in there, a sweetheart flower in there. Um, here's a little a uh, hip rosebud. And again, I varied the colors because I wanted it to have a lot of dimension and depth to it. And then this stick pin, I didn't adhere it all the way down because I wanted to take it out to show you guys. But this stick pin came out really cute and has a little heart. So that's that. And I'll glue that down before I send it, of course. Okay, um, my mother also does a lot of sewing. So I have these uh, sewing machine charms. And they were silver. And I toned that down as well with the um, paint, with the light pink paint. So it's kind of hard to see in this video, but... I think it came out really cute. Okay, so then um, I use the same exact technique with the other ones um, as far as the paint and the glitter and the spritz go. Um, again, I'll be happy to show anyone if they're interested in seeing how I did that. It's really easy to do. And the effects are just gorgeous. Um, so, added some more bling here. Add a little bit of bling down or they're more like pearls down the bottom here. Okay, um, I clustered some flowers together and added them there. Um, again, like I said, my mom does a lot of sewing, so I got a spool, and I got this idea from Jane as well. She did that in her, on her tags, and I used the flatback, the same pearls that I used up at the top. Um, I used those there and I painted those up and I painted the spool, the wooden spool, and wrapped that around, just left a little bit dangling there. And I also had some bling, um, I had some bling here down the bottom, this little uh, flower piece, so I thought that looked really nice. And then, did I show you the back? So that's the back. Okay, so that is for my mom, and her name also starts with an M, so it's mom and her name, so it's dual purpose, so that was cool. Um, so I hope she likes it, and um, so yeah, so those are my projects. Um, I hope the ladies like what I created for them. Like I said, I had a lot of fun making them. Um, and Jane, you are an inspiration because um, I wouldn't have never thought to do this without uh, your uh, tutorial on these tags. Um, so everyone go check Jane out if you want to see her monogram, or not, not monogram, her monochromatic tags because hers came out really, really cute. And um, these make great presents. Like I said, I'm making some for my coworkers. And um, yeah, so... Let me know what you all think, and thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, always be commenting and support. Uh, have a great day. Bye.